So let's close our left panel here and also make our preview a bit smaller. You can click on resume if you want to. So what we have now is a text uh, that shows our loan name, but we don't want this. Instead, we want to use the new view that we have just created. So let's call it a loan cell view and we're going to initialize it. And remember our initializer takes three parameters, name, amount and date. So where do we get this name, amount and date is luckily we have this loan object here. So for each loans of our array of loans that we get from our core data, we uh, isolate each line with a separate loan here. So now I can say loan dot name amount will be double. So we can access our loan dot total amount and date. Remember, we want it to show our due date. So we will say loan dot due date. And if I click command R to run. All right. Um, the issue here we have is remember, these are all optional. So we need to give them some default values. And again, the default values we can give by two question mark. And uh, we say unknown here. And the amount we can put zero. And the date, if it's nil, let's have a current date. We initialize a date. Command P. This will build our project uh, total amount. Let's see what's the problem here. Has non optional type. All right, so we don't need that. Actually, our total amount is not an optional. So run. Now you can see we have our two loans. Obviously, we are creating the same loan every time we click on a plus button at uh, the title. Uh, is set, the amount is set, and this uh, our date is also set. What we could do is actually make our title stand out a little bit because now everything is at the same size, so we don't want to keep it that way. Let's go to our preview here uh, of our loan cell view. You can click on resume and uh, let's add some parameters to our text. So we are going to add a font. And this is going to be title two, so it's not very big. You can see now it's changed it. And let's also make it a little bit uh, thick. So we say font weight to be semi bold. All right, you can see it changes. The amount, um, let's see what we want for our amount. Oh, uh, sorry, the, the, uh, the name we did. And now we want to do the text, uh, which is our amount. I'm going to also make this one to uh, font dot title two, not three, uh, not the title because it's too big. And font weight. This one I'm going to make light so it doesn't stand out as our name there. And uh, the date, let's put it a uh, font of subheadline and a foreground color secondary as light gray color. All right, so you can see the color here. But what we can do is quickly run our application one more time to see uh, the changes on our view here. See, it's nice and let's see how it looks on the white as well. Jeez. Okay. If you want to tweak it uh, around, you can, I don't know, change colors, change whatever the parameters you want. You can uh, play around here. As I said, the view I'm going to use is a minimalistic one. We are more focused on the functionality of the application. So we have set our cell in order to show a cell instead of just a text there. The next thing is every time uh, we create a loan, all right, we can delete that. But uh, 
I cannot enter the loan so I can get to a payment area where we can uh, create payment objects or show payments. So um, one more thing we need to do our loans is when I click on an add button, it just adds a default loan. So the user doesn't have any control over what loan we are creating. So let's focus on uh, our add loan functionality first. And once we are done with that, we can get into the payment area.